Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo and today we are going to talk about how to create a Microsoft Me inside of Canvas. So this could be useful when we have issues with Zoom or even for ourselves uh, since they don't have a Zoom account. So there's many ways of creating a Microsoft Meet inside of um, our Canvas classes. You can do it through anything that has the rich content editor. So let's start by doing it through just an announcement, okay? So I'm going to go to announcement. Okay, I'm going to create uh, just one new announcement to the right over here. I'm going to call it a uh, Microsoft Team Meeting. Maybe you can call it Sub today. Okay, and when you do this, you go to the rich content editor and notice that when you go in here, when you go to the plug, which is all of our plugins, and you click on it, you have the ability to select Microsoft Team Meetings. I'm going to do that. The first time that you do this, it's going to ask you to authenticate your Microsoft Meetings. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to say, yes, sign in. Okay, it's going to look for my Office 365 account because I'm already using my Office 365 account to log into Canvas. It automatically knows who I am, which makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to create a meeting, okay? So what it's going to do now, it's going to create the meeting for you and you can copy the invitation if you want to, or you can join it right away, but it's created for us. So we're not gonna copy it. I want you to see what it's going to look like, okay? We don't have to copy it. Okay, but it's right there. See how it puts it right there for us? Join me sub A19. Okay, and now I have some options in here. I can send it to all of my sections, so just one class and so on and so on, right? I can delay the posting. So if I'm creating this um, ahead of time, I can delay it to a different time to post it, but everything is fine for me. So I'm going to create it now. And now notice that now when I go to my home, because I have announcements uh, showing, it's right there on top, okay? So join, I'm going to click on it, okay? As a teacher, I can just click, and I have the option to open open the um, Zoom, uh, the uh, Microsoft Meeting on the browser, which I can do. I can download the Windows app, which I will really recommend, and you don't have to have an administrator password, or I can open it again right here on the browser. I'm actually going to open, open, open Microsoft Teams for this. It's going to open. Let's give it a second. And I want you to see some of the amazing features you have when you are in Microsoft Teams. So it's opening my Microsoft Teams. Let's give it a second. And it is open. I have a couple of options. I can join with my webcam on and I can turn that on. Okay. And it's going to turn it on. I can actually, this is really cool. Uh, I can actually uh, add a background if I want to. Okay, you've seen this on Zoom or you can do it in here too. But I want to be inside of uh, Minecraft, okay? So you have a lot of different options in here, okay? And then you have your mic over here. You also have some custom setups if you want to go in there, just to give you an idea. Your audio devices, so you can show them, okay? Which is fine, okay? Which speakers you're using, which microphone you're using, and which camera you're, camera you're using, okay? So it looks like everything is great. I can add rooms to my meeting. So uh, uh, to use it sound and video um, um, in a different room if you wanted to, but I'm going to join now. So I'm going to join this meeting and you're going to see that I'm now in the meeting. I have a lot of options in here. I can uh, open and share my screen just like you can do in Zoom, just to give you an idea what that looks like, okay? I can also, notice this is uh, some of my favorite uh, features. I can show background effects again, and you can kind of blur the back if you wanted to. Let me let me unselect the uh, the one that I had before. Let me unselect that one. And you should be able to uh, to uh, see. This is great for our students that maybe don't want to show the back of their house and so on and so on. So you do have that option. Okay. Um, the keypad can show. You can record your meetings from here. Okay. You can also show the meeting notes, so you can chat basically if you wanted to do that in there. And um, you can switch the camera and so on and so on. You can show the participants, okay? So your students, because they do have an Office 365, when they click on that link that you created on Canvas, they'll be able to just join the meeting, okay? I'm ending the meeting right now. I'm just going to close this. 
But remember again, the kids, all they have to do is click right here. Now, I want to make sure you understand that the, there's more ways to create the meetings. I could have created this meeting under an assignment if I wanted to, just really, really quick. I would have gone to an assignment, create a new assignment, just to give you an idea. And anything that has a rich content editor um, access can give you the plug. And I could have done that meeting right through here. Okay. I just want to make sure that you are aware that you can do it in all of the different places. And I can create the link right here. I'm not going to do it right now. Let me go ahead and cancel. But I also, something that is pretty incredible too, I can go to my calendar. So inside of calendar, I can come to any day. So let's just go to the 20th. Okay. I can say meeting. I can give it a time. And I can go to more options. I can decide to put it in uh, my class, my course for distance learning. And all of my students are going to get this end of calendar. And I'm going to go to more options. And notice that we again have the plug, right? To create a Microsoft Teams meeting for us. And now when I create it, uh, again, meeting um, calendar. So I remember which one this was. Uh, and remember we did August 19. So this was for the 20, if you remember. And we said it was going to be from 9 to 10. Okay, let's create it. Okay, it's right there. Okay, we can copy it if we want to. Okay, let's put it right in there. And now I'm going to create the event. And notice what's going to happen now. It's in my calendar, but not, it's not only in my calendar, it's in all of my students' calendars now. So they can actually join by just going to calendar, clicking on the meeting. Okay, let's do that right now. And my, my computer is just being very, very slow right now. And when I click on it, I see the option right here and I can just go to meetings. Okay, there is the link for it. I'm going to open. It's going to ask you again how you want to join. And here we are again where we can go and join our meeting. So I hope this gives you an idea about the many ways in which you can use Microsoft Teams to schedule a meeting through uh, announcements, through uh, um, modules, through assignments, through the calendar. If you have any questions, please contact Emily Tech Tosas. Have a great day.